my name is Marissa Boyd. I am originally from Shanahan, Illinois, and I am an artist in McLean County. I would say so. I think about the like unknowns a lot and, and inspiration from caves. I got that back in 2014 when I, or yeah, it was like 2014 when I was transitioning into the BFA program and thinking about that in a way that's like psychological and it's something you have to like seek out. And then also um, I thought about dreams a lot. So I get like surrealism, like inspiration from that and this sort of idea of like, what is reality and um, playing around with just me, my environment around me and my dreams are really vivid. So it's interesting. And sometimes I approach things in the world that feel like they're not real or they shouldn't be. But, and it's interesting to transition that into paintings because, and especially being an abstract artist, because it can be taken as something that's just produced out of me, but it's really an inspiration of things that are found in the world. During my uh, undergrad, I had done so many different projects back to back. It was like every semester or even mid semester, I would go on to a new idea or try to combine them all. So by the end of it all, I was able to sort of um, detach the ideas and actually approach um, one painting in a like one way, do a couple moves and then move on to the next, but still have them connect to each other. And it's important for me to think about my past and I have journals of different thoughts and writings and I'll read, but I've been reading back at those a lot recently. And like sometimes I'm like, wow, like, what was I even thinking? That's kind of insane. Or like, what? And I would stay up at all hours of the day just writing and going to artist lectures and then they spark an idea and then I'll just start writing, writing and just, um, so it's important for me to um, reflect on the past, but I think that that's part of who I am anyway, in a way. Yeah, I think that it would basically just be part of my experience or like the sort of transitioning out of it, but I think that for a viewer to just be able to take in art that could be considered like a scribble or like a drawing and then how that can become so much more and to not dismiss that I guess like my for example my dad will look at these and he'll say I don't think this is it like these are just scribbles and I'll explain to him what I talked about earlier about communication and like the hand is different and he's I have this image of him he had like done it too but he was thinking of objects in the world, so trying to draw them with his eyes closed. But for me, I just strictly pay attention to like the sound and like the shape. So it's interesting the approaches or Zach like has done them before and I'll tell him like, oh, we'll try to find the blue and like there'll be these lines and stuff. And I was like, you see that much blue? And like, I wish I can like, you know, transport my eyeballs to the, or something. So then it's like, I can see what someone else sees. Cause it's also, I mean, it's behind your eyelids. So it's like, passing of shadows and like, you know, it's dictated on your surroundings depending, but also just whatever happens in your mind and like the electrons or, I don't know. I don't, I haven't researched enough in that, so that's probably, I'm not like a scientist or anything, so I'm not gonna claim that as fact. It's just my imagination. <laughs> Titles, I am considering looking at the shorthand book and like seeing where that could go. And then I've been looking at, because I wrote poetry throughout undergrad too, so looking at different snippets of that. And, it, and, um, and I've been more interested, a little bit more interested in longer titles and embracing that. Not super long, but I think that it's kind of interesting if it's, I don't know. Like I have a piece called like the thing I don't know the name of and I kind of like that it's like declaring like I found this thing, don't know what it is and like that's what, I don't know, so kind of embracing that. And from here, I don't really know after, all I know is I'm excited to get back into painting on canvas which is something I haven't done in a while too. So I think it'll be a great outcome out of that.